All right, guys, welcome to your Credit One Day Two tutorial for Foundations of Computing. We're going to go over uh, the setup, a basic setup of a computer. Now, I was going to do some big elaborate uh, webcam thing with a real live computer, but uh, GFCLearnFree.org has a great interactive that uh, is probably going to help you just as much. It's actually going to be easier for you to see because uh, me on a webcam is going to be pretty blurry. So check this out. We're going to go to the computer basics here and we're going to scroll down to setting up a computer. Now this is one of the tutorials that you need to watch uh, uh, and click through and I've recommended in your packet that you do this interactive but we're going to uh, do it together here in the tutorial in the uh, video here just so you've got an idea what it looks like. You're going to do all in one because that's what you're probably going to be setting up. All in one just means there's no tower like you see here anymore. It's just everything is contained within the computer. Now this one happens to be a Mac, but most of them, uh, most of the Windows machines are like that now too. So this is a simple, simple to play. All you do is click. This is your printer cable. It'll look just like this. It's a USB and you find the corresponding spot on the back of the computer. Now look at this, you're going to have a ton of USB ports and you can put them in wherever. You can find a USB port, it doesn't matter what order or what location because the computer's smart and it's going to recognize it. So you just click, you just plug them in. Oh look, it doesn't care, we'll just put them wherever you have a free USB slot. Here we've got our speakers and headphones, we'll plug those in there. You've got your Ethernet, it's also called your LAN cable or your local area network cable. This is where you get your internet connection from, for the most part. Click that in there, and then you get a power cord. Boom, you're done. Now you uh, hit power on the front, it'll power up. Your keyboard will work, your mouse will work, your printer should work, uh, and you're ready to go. Now what do you do if your printer doesn't work? Well, most of this stuff nowadays is plug and play, which means it just recognizes it and the operating system um, installs the drivers for you. However, if it doesn't work, there's a couple of things you can do. You can go to your charms bar. That was our charms bar right there. We go here. We go to settings. We're going to go to control panel, and we're going to look view devices and printers. And you can go in here and you can do things like uh, mess with the properties. You can look at, you can see if the hardware is configured properly. You can go into properties. Now it tells you here the device is working properly. So you have to assume that if it's not printing, there's something wrong with the software, not with the hardware. So what we do then is we just go online and we'd search for a driver. All right, so you just open up your web browser like this and then you type in the name of your printer. The name of your printer is right on the front of it. So mine is, says HP for Hewlett Packard, and it says LaserJet 400. And I'm going to type driver after that, so I'm sure I get a driver. There we go. That's the first search result, and this is going to take me to Hewlett Packard's website. Make sure that you're getting a driver from the manufacturer of the printer. If you got a Hewlett Packard printer, go to hewlettpackard.com to get your driver. If you get it from uh, some third-party website, you may wind up with uh, some kind of malware. All right, so you select the name, uh, you select the language that you want it to be in, and then you select your operating system. So I'm going to scroll down here. Uh, we're running Windows 8.1 64-bit. If you're not sure if you're 32-bit or 64-bit, you can click this little thing right here and it'll tell you. Now it gives you a lot of different options here. Uh, you don't need to choose any of the, you're not going to do a firmware update or anything like that. You can if you want, it won't hurt anything probably, um, but you just want to go right here to driver. You're going to choose the first one that says printer series full software and drivers. Um, if it says something like PCL6, that's for a networked printer and you probably are not going to be running a networked printer. If you are, choose this driver. Otherwise, you're going to go with the first driver here. You just click download and then uh, it'll walk you through the process of downloading it. And we'll get into more detail about how to download and install programs uh, in Credit 2, but this is just to show you where to find this and how to go about doing it in case your printer happens to not work. All right, guys, that's it for this tutorial. I uh, hope that helped. Uh, thanks for listening and good luck with the class. Bye. Uh,